Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Japan. Uh, so sorry again that there wasn't uh, there wasn't new videos on on you know either Wednesday or Thursday. Just oh man, just so busy, guys. So busy. Uh, but hopefully uh, things should be getting back on track starting with this video, uh, which should be coming out on Friday at the regular time, and then from here on out we should have that, uh, I should stay on track, hopefully. Now I'm still not done with the uh, voiceover work uh, yet, which is really what's the most time-consuming thing. I guess that Call of War series, uh, you know, that I'm recording is a little bit time-consuming as well, uh, you know, because you got to constantly dip back in the game. Uh, you don't really play for long periods of time, but you know, you, you dip in to respond to messages and give orders and, and, and you know, build stuff. Uh, so the, uh, the Call of War series is going to be going for a while. Uh, I expect that to be at least another two, three weeks. But the uh, the voiceover stuff, which is some of the most time-consuming, I always forget how just how long that takes to do. Uh, that that should be done hopefully tonight uh, which is when i'm recording this thursday night i'm gonna work on that last bit that i've got and i'm, and, and I'm hoping i finish it even if i don't though it shouldn't affect the series anymore because there's just not there's not enough left for it to, to really cause issues hopefully uh so yeah we should be back on track now guys uh but let's go ahead and, and jump into the episode uh where we're gonna be probably fighting the soviets i assume i'm gonna try and take that decision guys i've got my troops over here um somebody said something about putting a lot of troops over here i don't even i think this is overkill because if it's anything like the Chinese one, which I, I think it acts the same way as that one that you can do as, as Communist China that we did in that series, which, you know, was, uh, I don't think it went well in that one. Um, but if it goes anything like that, I think that it, they pick a limited number of troops that you have there. So in fact, we'd probably want to pull these back because we want to make sure that they're good divisions. Uh, so we need to pull this like completely back so that just the Red Army is here, the better army. And uh, that should use those ones, hopefully. In fact, because I'm so worried about it, not picking the right ones, we're gonna pull all troops off of this front. We can always move them back. I think he actually, with where that one pro, uh, come on, move back here. I can't get it to move, there we go. Just gotta go a little bit further. But yeah, just make it so it's nowhere near this, this province, which is where I think the event happens uh, based on what you guys have told me. Uh, I've already got infrastructure building, uh, but one other issue that we're going to have is a lack, uh, lack of air bases because I do want to go to war against Communist China. We will need some troops over here too. Let me go and get that done now while I'm thinking about it. Now, I want to say that there's there's hardly any to be over here, so we should be able to do this hopefully fairly easily. Uh, so we'll just take some of these uh, motorized divisions. How many do we have? We have eight. So I was going to take like three of them and put them over here so they can ramp it up quickly. I know these are mountains, but again, I really feel like there's not very many divisions over here. So I'm gonna bring them over here and then just like a couple infantry divisions. Uh, just try and get it up to, what do we need here? How many provinces is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So really just two for each province would be fine. So if we were to assign like eight divisions over here just to try and get it finished up quickly, because this, is, this isn't their capital and it's not connected to the capital, meaning any troops that are there would be cut off from supply. So hopefully, it should be pretty easy to to do this. I guess we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that got all those guys selected. Give them a little bit of a planning bonus. Uh, I could have swore I gave eight. Oh, okay. I only had three motorized. I got it. Let's go eight. And then with these guys, they should have a planning bonus. Yes, sir. Uh, so, yeah. We're good to go. Now, let me see if he's got anything. He does not. We'll go through all of our generals real quick and see if they have anything we really want to give them uh, after those wars. Which I'm not... I don't think we I don't think we'll have anything. Uh not yet anyway. Nah, nothing here. Mm, I see this one guy, he's got something. We'll take a look at him. Uh you know what we really need to do? Is use that army experience to change up some division designs, which also reminds me of something that somebody's been telling me about for a while. You know what I'm gonna do that now because I don't want to forget about it. Uh so the, when I designed those cruisers, I did not replace the engine. So we're gonna do that now and I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't really want to build uh, that if he doesn't have the better engine. Uh, so we won't have to change up their their name here since we haven't built any of these yet. And I know we lost some production there, but I feel like it's worth it. Uh, it's five, I think it's, okay, it's 2.7 more kilometers per hour. Eh, maybe it wasn't worth it, I don't know. I feel like it is. It's, it's only, I mean, it's like a couple weeks worth of uh, production that we're losing. And I think that's all we need to change. So let's go and save that and then get them building. And put the, what I think we had eight. Yeah, we had eight. Uh, and then whenever that finishes repairing, we'll have it come down to the destroyers. Uh, sorry if I'm like all over the place today, guys, or 
if I say something really stupid <laughs> or like last time, you know, I make mistakes on, on not ordering the AI and then blaming them for everything. I am so exhausted, guys. I'm not even playing like this shit gets me a lot more <laughs> than I uh, used to. Uh, I've talked about this in the past. I think we're just going to keep on going for the radar to have that on our ships. Uh, I'd like to have the better radar on the ships. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that in there. D did we just... Okay, we just got the better, the faster research, right? Yeah. I was going to say, we didn't just get radar that we need to put on new sh on our uh, old ships, do we? I don't think so. Uh, we do have these guys here, so we can throw them into the red army if we wanted to. Again, I don't really feel like it's necessary, but we'll put them in there anyways. And then also, I was going to change up division designs. But yeah, stuff like this. I'm just, you know, making mistakes. Or, or forgetting things, missing things. Uh, so I do apologize if there's a lot of that in this this video, guys. Uh, let's put the logistic companies in here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I don't know that we'll do maintenance companies here. In fact, I don't even know what we'll do here just yet. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and do logistic companies because I do want to add those. Because uh, we'll be fighting in many places where we're going to have... We're going to have some supply problems, so we'll probably put logistics in all of our division designs, even 20 width. Uh, I think it would be good to do. And because we have to go to war with the Soviets, we can't go to 40 width just now. Uh, we don't have the equipment to do it. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get logistics, since we haven't added any of that to our division designs yet. Uh, so we'll get that there. Um, here, I think we'll change up one of these for logistics as well. Uh, we could change out the maintenance companies. Uh, so, but you know what? I think we'll, we'll keep them. And just change out the artillery. I know this is going to make them not as good. I think we're going to have artillery problems, though. I think we have artillery shortages. Uh, so that will actually reduce those shortages by quite a bit. Uh, the, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to give the, the Marines the logistic companies. Uh, and these guys, I want to give them. If we have the experience, we do not. Uh, I was going to go ahead and give them engineer companies. But we don't have the experience yet. Uh, so... We'll need to train these if they. Well, we'll, we'll wait and see who needs to train, uh, who's lacking the experience. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to train them up for uh, you know the losses they're gonna take. Uh, but again, you know, forgive me for any mistakes I make, guys. I'm I'm like super super tired. Uh, I've uh I've been sleeping about two to three hours per night for the last five nights. And while I used to be able to do that when I was younger for you know about two to three weeks because I work a lot and I, well you guys remember back on the channel when I was full time. And I was working like insane, you know, like 60 hours a week or something like that, plus doing YouTube. Uh, yeah, I didn't sleep much. I just said, eh, I don't need sleep. I think we, I almost want to get rid of, oh, wait, no, no. We can't get rid of those yet. Uh, because the decision I'm trying to do, the whole reason why we, we're over here, costs 50 political power. And that's the reason why I'm not taking it yet, is because we don't have 50 political power. It's right there. Uh, so we're going to wait. Uh, we're not going to, we're not going to get anything. We're not going to spend any political power until we do that. Uh, but yeah, when I was younger, I mean, it, it it affected me. I was tired, but not like, not like every time. I think maybe 30 or 32 is when it really hit me. Uh, but yeah, I've definitely noticed it. I just can't go as, uh, as long without the sleep. And really, it's not good for you. I probably shouldn't do it at all, but I've never been a sleeper. Uh, I don't really like sleeping. I feel like you're just wasting your life away. And I know it's probably taken off 10, maybe 15 years off the back end of my life. Because I sleep so little, I mean, I've been doing it since forever. I mean, I used to go, when I was real young, when I was like early 20s, man, I would go days without sleeping, like two days without sleeping sometimes. I've just never been a sleeper. Uh, like, I don't even like sleeping more than like six hours. Uh, I'll just wake up on my own. Because uh, I just don't like to sleep. And some people are like that. And some people are sleepers. My wife, for instance, Jinx, she is a sleeper. She likes to sleep a lot. Uh, she can sleep for 10, 12 hours if you let her. Uh, she likes sleeping. And I do not. We'll keep this guy in here because these guys need to deploy. Well, you know, we'll just deploy him now. Uh, we could build more, but I think, uh, you know, we have the manpower. But I think equipment's a problem. You know what? It's really not that big of an issue. It's not as bad as I thought it was. And I thought we'd be in a lot worse situation uh, than we actually are. Uh, yeah, but that's not too too shabby. Uh, well, I suppose we could... Let's, let's get the motorized and, and support equipment dealt with. Uh, we'll, we'll get that finished up. I feel like we've got a good number of divisions here. This guy can just go into this trainer. You know, we can just keep here, him here so we always have that training army. Uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, when I pull the divisions out, uh, you know, have any issues with having to recreate the training army. Uh, so let's just take a look and see who needs to be trained. Oh, we already have that guy training. 
Uh, let's see here. We do have some divisions. Uh, all these ones will likely need to be changed because we oh we didn't give them that yet. Never mind. Uh, so they'll they'll all need to be trained once we give them the uh, engineers. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys train. And anybody here? No. Uh, but we do have several here. Now I know this is kind of risky because we could find ourselves at war really soon. I think it asks you though. Uh, so it's not like they declare war in Germany and then we're just automatically pulled in. I think it'll ask us if we want to join. In which case we can just say no or we can wait the, what is it, like 30 days or something like that before you uh, have to take a decision, have to make a choice. We almost have the, the Fadipa power. We're almost there. I'm going to watch it and not talk because I'll miss it. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this, test the Soviets. It's the 16th of September and it's going to take 30 days. Uh, for us to get the, the window of opportunity, escalate the incident, those things, which will probably be their own little section, because that's an operation. Oh, yes, speaking of operations, we need to we need to do something with our operatives, guys. Oh, man. Uh, but again, like I said, just forgive me for my, my many mistakes I'll likely make. We'll move her and put her over here in Moscow. Now, we could put her over here, but then once we took control of that, then we'd have to move her. Uh, and then her, we're going to have her get us intel. We can, can we not do it? Oh, I'm, I'm on counter intel. I want to do this before the war starts, but man, I, I don't know if we'll be able to or not because uh, we don't have any political power. Uh, this is kind of uh, soaking up all our political power. And then if I wanted to get rid of those, uh, which I do, because once we go to war, I think that could cause some issues. If we want to get rid of those communist uprising things, then that's like another, I think, I think 30 political power because we have three of them. So we got bicycle battalions. That's awesome. So we finally got them, and as excited as everybody is for the bicycle giants, I think we're gonna wait to to make them. Uh, I want to get I want to get some some stockpiles going, guys. And and what we could do to try and make that go a little bit smoother is just kind of pull back on the the infantry equipment and then put them into what we really need this this support equipment here. Uh, the artillery I think will be all right on, and we already got a lot going towards motorized. So I think that's fine. That'll uh, require one more aluminum, but we won't do anything with it. And we're not going to get a national focus, guys, uh, because we need to get political power. So we're just going to let the uh, political power burn, or, or build up, excuse me, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we're not going to do those. And then once we, we get all of these needs here, especially the justify of the war goal, because I really want to free up these divisions, move over here, and then we'll be able to attack over this way. And the reason why I really want to get Communist China knocked out, besides the fact that I don't want to just deal with the infiltrations here, uh, I have to constantly worry about that so that we can get the front here. Now, there's not a lot of areas you can attack from. There's the one right there, and then you've got, and then you got this front here. But I think that would be uh, really, really good to be able to attack into here. There's some good resources, yeah, right there. Uh, and then you can push, just keep on pushing west, and maybe get some good stuff in this conflict. We'll have to see. Uh, again, the, the main focus will probably be over here, which again, I think we have some pretty critty divisions here, but I think they'll be able to hold up all right. Uh, and they might have built forts, no. Our puppet did not build forts. Okay, sometimes I think they have in their focus tree where they build uh, fortifications along here, like a level twos. They haven't taken that yet, probably because it's only 1940. I think that's something they get a little bit later. Uh, so we did get the anti-air, and that's the last one for 1940. So we're gonna have to add those to the ships, which I do feel is important to have. Uh, so let's go ahead and just make them build one more, although he doesn't need anti-air, so he can stay uh, building and we should probably build some, some anti-air. Oh, man, I don't know if we're gonna put it in our units, actually, because we're not gonna need it until America. I just don't feel like we're gonna need it against the Soviets at all. And I'd prefer to just get, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get it, guys. But we will need it against the Americans whenever we go to war with them. Hmm. All right, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We'll get it built in, but we won't put it in our division designs or anything like that. We'll just try to get like a little tiny stockpile. We'll give them one factory whenever we get a free one. Just not gonna be a priority, not at all. Uh, so we need to get something researching. Uh, so we're done there. So we could go ahead and get the anti-tanks again. Not really a priority. Anti-tanks would actually be useful against Soviets because uh, they will have tanks. We'll have to take. Let's take a look at our the line here that we have with them and see if they're even using tanks anywhere over here. See some horses, some dudes. But I don't see any tanks, guys. There's one right there that it's not uh, necessary to get anti-tanks for just one one division. 
I think we're all right. Uh, so instead of doing that, let's get get some uh, ship text, guys. Uh, I really want to get some of these knocked out. Uh, I really feel like we need to uh, start making some progress here. Maybe get the cruiser armor for those light cruisers that we're building. Uh, we can also get the next guns there. Uh, let's go ahead and do the, the cruiser armor first. And we will spend the experience. But again, it's 30 days, guys. Oh, I should have turned this up to speed 5. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was already on speed 5. Uh, so we got the machine-assisted decryption. Uh, that's that's it. So that's as fast as we're going to be decrypting. And that was another thing I wanted to do. Let's decrypt the Soviets. Oh, wait, let me get rid of this. While trying to, like, you know, do something in the middle here. Let's just pick something. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the passive defense. Get those knocked out. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and change over our decryption to the Soviets, which will get done in 373 days. All right, awesome. And we got the improved light batteries, too. That'll be for the uh, destroyers, which I probably should have went, instead of just going in order, which is what I was just about to do here. I should have went, like, uh, probably these ones first, and then these ones, and then these ones. Because we we don't want to go for those yet, because, yeah, we don't, we don't, we're not going to get that battleship done. I don't think, anyway. Let me just double-check. Yeah, we're not getting that done until next year, so... Yeah, we could we could, could have went for the, the big ones last, but probably should have went for the medium ones uh, first. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm just a uh, good god man. I'm just so tired, man. Uh, it affects me a lot more uh, the uh, the not sleeping. And I didn't, you know, again the the five six hours. It's I'm, I feel good. And Germany just uh, was declared war on by the Soviets. So we have to the 9th of November uh, to get this d damn decision done. Uh, which let me just oops, I don't want to look at that. Uh, let's figure out what the button is here. Uh, th five more days, guys. Five more days. We'll watch it here uh, to make sure that we're able to uh, to do it immediately. Although I think, yeah, let me we'll, we'll wait and see what it does real quick. All right, uh, so that's been done. So it's right down here, and then you escalate the incident. You have 29 days to do it. And uh, that's to get troops over here, but we already have troops over here because we knew what we were doing. So let's go ahead and start it, and we'll see how we do. Um, typically, these are kind of hard to do, especially here because you're crossing a river. So I don't know, man. It's green right now, uh, but they'll move troops over here, and they'll make it harder for us. Uh, so we're not going to do this call to arms until we're done with that. Uh, but we can go ahead. Uh, I was saving the political power uh, for this here, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and knock these out real quick. I mean, it's not much. It's 30 Pluto power. So we can get rid of those, and then we'll get the uh, the war goal against the communists. Uh, but yeah, the, I'll tell you what, guys, man. You get, you get older, you get into your 30s and stuff, and things change. Certain things change. And I just can't uh, can't do the, the two to three hours of sleep a night. I need a little bit more than that. Five to six, I feel good, though. I feel real good. Uh, six, I think, is the desirable. Some people like sleeping like a insane amount of hours. As I said, my wife is one of them, but... Yeah, that whole eight hours, that's too much, man. Even uh, doctors say you don't need to sleep that much anymore. I, I kind of feel like going for uh, the mechanized, as even if you don't get them, which we might not even use them, uh, because the hardness for the uh, motorized is just so useful. Yeah, I think we might go ahead and do that. Like, I typically won't do it just for, for that, but we have so much motorized out there between our, our tank divisions and our motorized divisions. We have a lot. Quite a few, guys. So... I think we will win this. Uh, it's green right now, so we'll probably be able to win that, which will be really nice. Uh, so we got the passive defense. Let's get the next one. And yeah, it does seem like we're going to win it. That's excellent. Uh, so Japanese victory. Following a clash between the Soviet and Japanese forces in the border area around Lake Kassan, uh, the Soviet forces are reportedly in full retreat. Japanese units have occupied a number of strategic hills around the area and begun to fortify their positions. During the battle, the Japanese captured a number of Soviet tanks, which have been shipped to Tokyo for evaluation. So that gave us research bonuses for land doctrine and armor technology. Uh, but I think we lost a division. Oh, okay, they're all in here. I see. Yeah, they just got moved into this army here. There we go. Back up to 20 now. So yeah, you see they, they pull a limited number of divisions, so you really don't need like 20 divisions there. Uh, it's just not necessary. So they are retreating, so now we can take advantage of this opportunity to declare war, to go and join the war, and uh, start pushing forward uh, when they're in this bad position. I, I don't think there's any more parts to it. I don't exactly know. I could be wrong. Uh, this ends the conflict. At the current rate, we can only stay in combat operations for so long before we need a break from combat. 
let's let it sit for a minute. It looks like it's completed, right? Huh. I'm not entirely sure. Do you just check it? No, you can't check it. Cause yeah, I want to take advantage of the opportunity here, but I'm not sure if it's over. So I don't want to like, uh, you know, declare war if there's still more to it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. So we uh, did get the carrier holes, 1940 carrier holes. So we'll have to get those building uh, as soon as we finish up the one we're currently getting. Uh, so let's go ahead and do another naval tech, guys. I feel like this is, should be our priority. Uh, we could go and get the destroyers, uh, but I really feel like we should go ahead and get the battleships, or at least start getting the techs for the battleships. Uh, this one gives you, you know, you can use experience for that, so we'll wait to do that. I suppose we could just do the guns. Yeah, let's do the guns. We could also do torpedoes. Uh, that'd be a good option for our light cruisers. And I am kind of focusing on getting the light cruiser stuff done first. You know what? We'll do torpedoes first, then. Yeah, we're going to get the torpedoes. So, nine days until... We won't be able to do the call to arms. Man, I don't know if this is done yet. I, I feel like it's not going to do anything else, but uh, I could be wrong. And, and I wonder why you can't take it. Hmm. Interesting. And yeah, maybe you just got to wait for an event to pop up. Maybe that's what we're waiting on. So, yeah, we'll just be patient. I, I might not even just have to decline this for right now. I mean, we, we can come into war anyways. It, it doesn't really matter. And they'll ask us again, too. So it doesn't matter much, uh, but at the same time, yeah, I mean, we pulled those divisions out, so, hmm, it feels like it's done. Let's go and declare war here. Uh, this will give us something to do. Uh, oh, that's against Yunnan. Okay, I didn't realize, I, I saw these events kept popping up. Uh, I don't know why I kept thinking it was Communist China. We haven't done that yet. We're still waiting on the political power. Uh, we're going to go to war with Yunnan. That's why we have these divisions here. Probably shouldn't have pulled divisions off of this uh, frontier to go to the Red Army. Uh, that's probably unnecessary. Uh, we have a lot of troops over here, uh, so we could pull from there. Uh, are any of these guys done training? No. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take some of these Blue Army troops that, you know, we don't even have the war goal for yet, so no reason to keep them over here right now. And then we're going to use them over there. Uh, let me see how many motorized we have here. I think we have two right now. It's not really great terrain for motorized, so, yeah, I mean, we don't really need to move any uh, from over here, I don't think. Let's move one. We'll do one motorized. Where's one at? Move one of these guys. Uh, move one of these good divisions here, and then just some some infantry to get their numbers up. You know what? I should do it from here. Yeah, we should do it from here, guys. So it's all these bottom ones. Just trying to get their numbers up a little bit. Uh, how many can we pull? Seven. We'll pull seven. And again, it's going to be mostly. We'll pull some motorized, but it's going to be mostly infantry here bring them on down here and then we'll declare war uh, we do have time uh, we have the 11th of January so it's okay I completely forgot about that uh, I saw them popping up and I don't know why I kept thinking it was communist China because that's who I want to go to war with uh, but yeah we, we decided to do Yunnan first I don't remember why oh yes that's right because we had them we had to deal with first I think that was my logic maybe there was no logic so it looks like they've uh already started invading into Soviet uh, territory in, in Poland. And I do expect that the, the Germans are gonna have success here. They're not at war with anybody else. So, I mean, even when they have a two front war, they, they typically beat the Soviets, uh, the AI, I mean. So yeah, I do expect that they'll have it uh, done fairly quickly. So we have more infiltrations we can do. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll wait to do it. Let's let's get this done, guys. Uh, we needed, uh, what is that, 140? Let me just double check on this. You know, it's probably cheaper now because we're not... Yeah, now we don't need as much. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's because we were doing the Yunnan one. That's why it was so damn expensive. That makes sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. It's going to only be 20 political power. Uh, and it's going to take 100 days. And so what we can now do is do these. Get rid of those uh, communists there. We'll probably have to do another sweep. It's been a while since we've done a sweep. So we might have communists infiltrated somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we might just um, avoid going to war with the Soviets for right now, just until I can get these wrapped up and then focus solely on them, and then we'll have the front already here, and the Soviets won't have time to put troops on the border, probably, if we get to there and then declare war right after. So we uh, got the passive defense knocked out, uh, so we can make sure that it's harder to get 
the encryption bonus on us, which I think would be good to do. I'm not really doing any of these other ones right now. Uh, this would be good to have too, in the interrogation techniques. Yeah, I think we'll get that. There's only five, I guess this is only five too, but yeah, this, I mean this, they still eventually get it. You're just making it take longer for them to get it. Uh, another advantage to waiting to go to war with Soviets is we, we can get that decryption bonus, uh, get that knocked out, finished. Uh, we're also getting our intel higher. Uh, comedy of cell discovered, so we'll have to deal with that. I assume we have, yeah, that we have this little notification here, so we're gonna do that. And what are we waiting? Oh, we can go and get a national focus now. Yeah, there's nothing that we're waiting on. So let's go ahead and do that. We've gotten the bicycle battalions. Uh, could do the non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. And I think this bypasses if you're at war with them. So yeah, we could just wait until we're at war with them and then we don't have to research it. And then that'll allow us to go down uh, the next route. Uh, but are any of these even necessary? I mean, I'd like to exploit the Southern resource area, but this just gives us a war goal against the British, which I'm not probably not gonna use. This gives us a research bonus for the transport models. I suppose that'd be good. We need to get those too. Uh, yeah, I mean, get a war goal against Philippines, but yeah, we can get that other route, other ways. Um, I don't know if it's worth 70 political power. I guess it depends on how much political power it costs to get the war goal on them. This would give us uh, some some good resources and stuff, but uh, also let you prospect for resources down there. I guess you kind of do want to go for it. But because of these here aren't that useful to us right now, I think we'll wait till we bypass that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get one of the ones over here. Uh, so we're gonna do the uh, carrier warfare experiments, I think. Yeah, let's go and get that, guys. Well, these are nice too. Uh, we'll use those against the Americans, though. Let's go and get the carrier warfare experiments. That'll give us uh, two research bonuses for the naval doctrines. Uh, so we got the improved medium battery. Knock that out fairly quick. And I suppose now we're gonna work on stuff for our battleship. Yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, so we're gonna get them the guns. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gots to get the, the dual purpose secondary, man. That's one of the most useful uh, naval equipments, man. I love that one. That is excellent. Yeah, we gotta get that. Uh, so we'll get that first. And we can put that on, on many different types of, of ships rather than just the, uh, the big guns, which are only for those battleships. So we did finish up that light cruiser. We're about to get the dual purpose, so we'll only want to build one more of these. Uh, but we will go ahead and do one uh, with to, to add whatever we have. We're also getting the torpedoes for them. I don't remember what all we had for them. Uh, what was it? What did we just get them? I know there was something. Guns. Was it the guns? Yeah, light cruiser batteries. Uh, so let's go and get them the guns on there. And we'll see how much this affects speed. Probably, probably shouldn't have oops, uh, too much of an effect. And we'll be changing these out too. Uh, probably change one of these out for the dual purpose or change the AA up uh, once we get that. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get light cruiser batteries. You can see this is increasing our light attack by 3.1. Light piercing has gone up a little bit as well. And I believe that's all we have. That checked radar? Yeah, I checked radar. We don't have that yet. Do we have better AA? We might. Oh, we do have better AA. Excellent. So let's go ahead and make sure we have the best AA possible in here. And I think that is now it. That's all we have. Oh, well, there's more experience than we have. Oh lord, I didn't realize that. So we just will wait. Uh, we just won't have a cruiser for a little while. Building, that's that's fine. Uh, let's just put it into, oh wait a minute, we have a cruiser building. Well, what did we get the the submarine? Or the, oh, wait a minute. We finished up, oh, I'm a dummy. We finished up the carriers. Okay, I didn't realize that. I was thinking we had finished up the cruisers. Uh, but that is not the case. So we'll just put these into other ships for right now because I think we're still, Maybe we're not. Let me just double check here. We already got them. Okay, I'm just all over the place, guys. Uh, so we can, in fact, get the new uh, carriers, but uh, I don't think we have the experience needed. Uh, again, we need we need three here for the radar. We'll, we'll double check. Three for the engine, and three for the anti-air. And that'd be exactly where we're at. We don't have the dual purpose yet. When do we get that? Do we want to wait for it? Uh, let me just take a look and see if it's worth waiting for. Uh, so we get that in 46 days. Yeah, I feel like it's worth waiting for, guys. We'll just put the uh, the dockyards into other stuff right now. And we can go ahead and get these ships training up. I have some ships that already have training uh, in the training fleet. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and also send these guys to train. 
Because I'm trying to get that damn Navy experience, man. We need more Navy experience. I'm just not getting it very fast. Uh, we can also take a look and see if we have excess equipment to build units. We do. Uh, so let's go ahead and build some new divisions out. Uh, we can go ahead and build out these guys. Uh, more 20 with tank divisions. And then probably some more infantry as well. And perhaps like a, a couple more motorized. I don't feel like we're going to get much more motorized at this point. You know, I think we actually have enough motorized. Let's just work on light tanks, guys. Uh, that, now, we don't have a lot of light tanks, so we need to really change up production a little bit. We can also get another marine division, so we'll take advantage of that. And we'll just get some regular infantry for whatever we have in equipment. It seems that we are lacking support equipment a bit, so we'll just do five uh, for right now. Yeah, that looks good. And then maybe one more for the tanks. And we'll just need to, uh, to build some more tanks, I think. Uh, let me see how we're doing on all the, the different... Okay, so motorized, we're good. Artillery, we're good. And infantry equipment, we already pulled from that. How about uh, the support equipment? Support equipment, that's the one thing we're lacking. So we'll keep the 10 factories into them. And then we're going to just pull back on a lot of stuff that we don't need anymore and start really pumping into the tanks a bit more. And then planes, man. We need more planes, like a lot more planes. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Um, also, I forgot we need to build air base. Uh, I didn't do that yet, I don't think. So we're going to need to get an air base here and here because this is the closest one so it doesn't doesn't reach anywhere uh so how much time do we have we have one more month before the yunnan uh, war goal expires so yeah we're gonna go to the fighters one more to fighters and then one more into the naval bombers we will trade for the needed aluminum with the hungarians i suppose why not all right so are we ready here? Remember, we were moving those divisions. Looks like they're still on their way. We should have probably forced them to take the damn railroads because, yeah, they're taking their sweet-ass time getting over here. And the anti-Soviet pact is done. Uh, we got the cruiser armor. Uh, that's one more thing that we can put onto the new cruisers. Uh, but the main thing, of course, that we were waiting for was to get the, the dual-purpose guns. Uh, we we're also getting the torpedoes, I suppose, too. Uh, but I don't think that, that cruiser is finished building. We get the uh, depth charges, but we're, we're using our destroyers for that. I think it's battleship armor is what we need, and battleship guns. Yeah, I'm just really focusing on getting these done so we can get these ships built, guys. Because uh, ships just take so long to build. Yeah, so let's do the, the battleship guns. So we'll have that done. So as far as, like, the, the carriers, to get the next carrier, all we need is the dual-purpose secondary battery for them. And we might have finished building something else here. Yeah, we just finished up the destroyers. That's right, I did set all those to only build one more since we want to change the designs up. We'll just build some submarines, man. Uh, some of these cruiser submarines. No reason not to build some of those out. Uh, also, we have a free factory. Okay, we'll go and get that assigned as well. Uh, really need some more naval bombers for, well, we're with America anytime soon, guys. We'll get the close air support instead. And I did remember that we need to get some air an air base here. Uh, so we'll get an air base right here. Um, oops. Maybe like, I think that should be enough uh, for what we have as far as planes go. And then I'm going to want one right here. And then one over here. And we'll actually prioritize this one here. Alright, so that looks good. We don't have, um, oh, you know, we might have. Okay, we got these guys here, that's right. I moved them over here. This is in fact two different areas though, so that's a problem. And we don't have... Okay, this is what we can do. Nope, they can't reach there. They can barely reach there, in fact. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Let's leave the fighter there and then bring the close air support over here so we can actually support these. Because he wouldn't be able to help with any of these. And uh, the fighter, whether he's here or here, so I'm probably not going to change the efficiency much for this area. So yeah, we'll move that there. And I think we're good to go. So just waiting for those divisions that get, just got here, or about to get here, uh, to get their plane bonus, get, get themselves placed. And this is wide open, let's just declare war, guys. Well, we'll sign the factory, and then we'll declare war on Yunnan. So, what do we want to put this into? We could continue upgrading the infantry equipment, uh, but I think the support equipment is what we're lacking. I know we just put more factories into that. Oh, that's the light tanks. I didn't put very many factories into that, so we'll get the light tanks. Oh, that's not wide open. I just couldn't see them. Psh, I need to zoom in a bit. I was wondering why they left this area, their capital, wide open. Uh, but yeah, there's there's no reason to wait, guys. Let's go and declare war. Uh, and get her done. 
All right, so we're at war with the NN now. And we're going to probably be able to wrap this up fairly quickly. I'm just looking at the way they have divisions placed right now and how we want to do this as far as like cutting troops off, which is, uh, that's the goal here is try and cut troops off. We might not even attack here. We'll probably let them attack us. We are also in the mountains. This is going to be very costly, whoever does the attacks. So let's let them attack us while we focus on going after the capital here. Now, we don't have a lot of divisions here, unfortunately. And two of those are Marines, so I don't know how well they'll perform. Uh, let's go bring these guys in here as well. I we should be able to win there. And then here's another good location to fight in because it's not mountains. So get up behind them and then just kind of come in the back here. Yeah, we should have that done soon. And then, yeah, then all the motorized are down here, too, which was actually pretty good placement. Uh, this is where I'd want the motorized to be. Get across that river. It does look like we were fighting somebody, but we'll keep it going because it looks like it'll be a pretty easy fight. Oh, they did attack us here. Okay. Looking for other uh, good places to cut people off without having to fight in the mountains, and there's really not... I mean, this is all very mountainous. We did take the capital already. Uh, so if we can go right here, then it'll cut all these troops off from the new capital. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, let's go and attack with both of these guys. And then these two troops here can uh, hold the front for us. So we got the interrogation technique. Uh, let's go ahead and get the... I'm just trying to knock all these out now. I'm at that point where I'm just like, let's just get all this stuff, man. I know we could use the civilian factory. He's trying to build a lot of stuff right now. Uh, in fact, we should probably get the... Well... Okay, this is what we'll do. Let's go ahead and get the one that we have going... Where is it? We do have one building there, right? Yeah, we do have one building there. I'm going to take this one up to the top. Okay, good. Very, very good. So again, we got the uh, we have the bonuses here. And that's what's important. I don't know how well they're able to cover. Yeah, they're not helping us out with any of those battles, the close air support. But I didn't want to build, I didn't want to build the uh, uh, air base here. I, I just didn't think it was necessary. I think these guys are going to be pretty easy overall. Yeah, I mean, you can see we're already doing uh, pretty well here. Uh, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and go here, and I suppose we'll have these guys help out there to try and get that wrapped up sooner. Uh, they are starting to attack us, and they can do it. Um, this guy's, you know, he was moving, and he also did an attack, so he didn't have any organization. They can go there. It's fine. Um, they're attacking to a mountain as well, so even though he's weak, it's still going to result in them taking casualties. Uh, we're about to get them cut off here. Let's go ahead and have this dude come up this way, and somebody should be wrapping that up there. And I think he's trying to go over to that front, which is unnecessary. And we'll wait to attack any of these dudes here in the mountains and stuff until after we finished getting them cut off, which is now. And even if they win there, they will not cut us off from supply. Uh, so let's focus on... Well, let's first fix the fronts. Although I'm a little bit confused why there's so many divisions here. We got 24 there and 15 here. That doesn't make any sense. It's not, because we have two blue armies. Huh. <laughs> Am I reading it wrong? 24 divisions here, and 15 here. Okay, that's strange. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, this front only has seven. I got it. Uh, there's some reason the offensive line for everybody is here. All right, well, whatever. That just means everybody's getting a plenty about us. Let's go ahead and fix this. Make sure they stay here. Because I don't think... They're all, all there, yeah, because that would put us up to 10. We really want to get this wrapped up here. But that looks that looks good. 11 there, 12 over here. Uh, one division missing somewhere. I don't see him here, so whatever. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, it's right there. There he is. All right, so uh, just looking for, like, easy places to attack. Uh, they are trying to, to get out over here. Uh, you know, we'll go ahead and attack him there. Yeah, they should be taking attrition all throughout here, so they're getting weaker and weaker. Just trying to reduce casualties and equipment losses, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and do these real quick. That'll be 30 political power for all three of those. We do have military factories as well, so we'll go ahead, go ahead and get those uh, positioned uh, into the support equipment. I always use more of that. And again, just trying to avoid mountain attacks, because they're just they're so costly, man. Uh, this guy here is incredibly weak. We'll probably get a win there. Yeah, very easy win there. Yeah, you just you lose a lot of troops, man. Uh, so let's attack here. I mean, the only thing worse than attacking in the mountains is 
attacking into mountains across a river. <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. Uh, we got the advanced ship, ship torpedo launchers. Uh, so I want to say that all that we got everything we needed for those light cruisers, right? Yeah, I think once the light cruisers are done building, uh, we'll be able to go ahead and place those or set those up now because I think they have everything that we're going to use for them. That's the way it seems. Yes. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, I don't know if we're ever going to get that 50 pillar power here. 163 days otherwise. So let's just wait. Uh, we're going to get the uh, the battleship now. I'm just really focusing on these ships, guys. Trying to get them knocked out. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Well, can we beat him? It'd be nice to not have to fight him there. Two days and 11 hours. And he gets there in five days, ten hours. Yeah, we'll go and fight him there. Or, or excuse me, try and beat him there. And we're going to have to attack here eventually, so... Let's go and tank there. It looks like that'll be a win. And just trying to get these troops here wrapped up and destroyed. Uh, we can go ahead and tank there. And, and they should be pretty easy to defeat here now, guys. Simply because they're uh, cut off from supply. They are still trying to break out, though. And we cannot win there. Uh, we have this open. Let's go ahead and move some divisions over there. And then we get attack over here. Uh, and shit got all fucked up. <laughs> Uh, let's go and attack again. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. We do have it pretty fast. Let's just turn down to speed four. And we also have a decision available. War propaganda. We're going to say we are not interested in seeing this. What I am interested in seeing is when we get this done. The first of March. So just two months. So it's basically one more after the other. Nice. That's how we want that to go. Uh, nice and smooth. Go and attack over there with these guys. Should be, oops, those guys. Still attacking right there. Uh, you know what, we can go and attack here. We are taking attrition here, interestingly enough. Uh, we did get there. Uh, he is trying to now move over here, so we'll beat him over there. Uh, should be able to anyways. Oh, 22 hours, maybe not. Oh, he's about to cut us off. Okay, um, well, I mean, it's not a big deal or anything, but, but yeah, it, it's interesting that he did uh, take advantage of that opportunity. And get us cut off while I wasn't paying attention. All right, well that's okay. He won't destroy us. Uh, we'll 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 get him dealt with. They are moving out of the capital, so we're just gonna go up behind them and seize it. Although it's gonna be six days. Uh, I don't want to wait that damn long. Would Lin here? We would. We'll just attack him. And that should result in his capitulation. So again, not too worried about being cut off in this particular instance. Uh, let's go ahead and move here. These guys are actually losing. Wow, okay. Send some more troops over here. Let's try and get these divisions finished up. And that's a great right here because we have to avoid attacking across a river. The only uh, direction you can avoid attacking across a river in that particular location. So we do not want to do these collaboration governments right now. Maybe we'll do them in the future in some places. And that'll kind of be like the way that I, uh, you know, appease some people who are wanting me to... Uh, to do a little bit more puppeting because we're really just annexing territory in this one. Uh, so that'd be one option is uh, to do that. And yeah, these guys again, they're cut off, but that's okay. We'll try and attack into here again. Well, it looks like we're successful now. Uh, and we're say they are not ready yet. Maybe one day. Not yet. All right, so all these divisions here are gonna be wiped out in mere moments. Uh, we did get another dockyard, uh, so let's go ahead and get the... Oh, okay, we finished up building some. Uh, was it the... Yes, it was. Uh, so, do we have everything for the carriers? Uh, we were waiting on the dual purpose. Did we get that yet? I don't think we did. Maybe that is what we were waiting on also for the... Yeah, we're still waiting. Eight days. It's only eight days. So we'll just get these assigned. It doesn't really matter. Just whatever, just build something for now. Uh, eight more days, we'll be able to get those new ship designs done. And we are losing here. I sent all of them in. All right, so we're winning now. They're also attacking us there, and it's not going too well for them. Getting the win there. And, and again, I think once we take that point right there, which is worth three victory points, I think it's the last place that's worth any victory points. Uh, let's just go and get all these guys here. Signed on over to there now. And I think he should actually be able to do it. Yeah, he's got it. So let's just get everybody coming on over to here. He'll finish that up for us, and then we'll just kind of focus on getting that one province. That's all we have to get to. Uh, so if we attack in this direction and this direction, maybe we'll be able to get the win. 
Yeah, now we're getting the win there as well. Could attack here, but again, just trying to avoid these damn mountain attacks, man. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take like everybody and have them take their butts on over here and attack. Just try and get this wrapped up. Uh, and then I would send another division. Oh, we have somebody. Let's go and have him come over this way. Having a lot of difficulty. It's mountain attack, but all these are gonna be mountain attacks and there's really no way to avoid that. Uh, but yeah, we destroyed all those troops. Um, as soon as we take it, what we'll do is we'll, I'll try and pause it right after we take it so we take a look at what the casualties were here. See how bad it was. Uh, because remember, we were attacking into mountains this whole time, so. And then we make sure they're not gonna capitulate yet. 96%, so we have to take, probably have to take that or maybe two of these other provinces and then we'll get it. Uh, but we did finish up the dual purpose gun, so that means we can go and design those ships. Uh, but let's get a tech selected first. I almost feel like we're gonna have to do the damn armor there, man. Even though I'm trying to avoid it. Uh, trying to avoid getting uh, getting that without the, the experience. But yeah, we're never gonna have the experience. I mean, we don't even have the experience right now to design our ships, actually. Uh, probably can get the, the uh, carriers done, but that's about it. So, you know, let's just, let's just get it so it's done. And then we'll be done with the... Uh, uh, the naval techs, uh, where we have to get so many. We still have to get the destroyer stuff and the submarine stuff, but yeah, it's not as big of a priority. Uh, so let's go and get those designed, the carriers, because uh, they take forever to build. All right, so this should be fairly quick. Oh, wait a minute. We did, did we never name our carrier? Oh yeah, huh, that's right. Uh, I got the new carrier design, I didn't name them. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, get the name for them. For right now, I guess I can just stay being A, that's fine. Although it might change it, yeah, it's fine. We'll leave this as is, and then I'll I'll name them next episode, on, uh, or before next episode. For right now, let's just get all the stuff and do them, and get them building. Uh, so we want those better dual purpose guns. That's what we're waiting on, and I feel like it's worth it. They're just really really good, because uh, you know they give you both the light attack and that that anti air. So I think that's it, because uh, we don't have the better radar. Uh, yet so yeah, we're good to go and we had just about exactly the uh, Experience we needed to, to do this. I say we'll name them before they build And let's get those dockyards placed and I Think we're still waiting on something for the light cruisers, right? Or maybe we have everything Yeah, do we we have the torpedoes, right? Yeah, we got the torpedoes. Um, I think we have everything for for the light cruisers uh, so but we don't have the experience. Okay, so we have to wait. It's okay. Uh, what we need to do is train more ships up. We have the, the fuel. I'm not trading for any, I don't believe. No. Uh, we have the fuel. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys in the training. And then we'll just set up, like, another one of these to train. Uh, like, uh, just the other patrol fleet. I'm trying to avoid having the bigger ships train. Uh, not just because of the fuel, which isn't that much of an issue. But more than anything, because of... Uh, the fact that I want them to get damaged and get the, the, the ones that take a long time to damage the critical hits because they can get those from from training too I've had it happen anyway uh, or they have something happen during during training and then it takes like forever to to repair it hopefully it'll get the experience going up a little bit quicker uh, we could also just pull some of them out or we could put these submarines on training I suppose yeah I guess that would work as well I gotta just put like all of them on training just to get the damn experience yeah, that's what we'll do. So we're just about done with the episode. Again, my goal here is to get Yinan defeated and be able to get it set up so that we'll be uh, just about ready to, to go to war with the communist China. Uh, so we to get the government... What is it? Government Cypher? Government Cypher School. Yeah. So let's get the next one, I guess. I think we're just going to run through and get all the ones that we want. Just kind of get wrapped up and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. So yeah, these guys are here just cut off from supply. Luckily they didn't attack there, but yeah, they're taking that attrition from being cut off. Oh, they're attacking now. We just need to get the win here. Uh, we could also attack over this way just to make sure that they don't kill him. But I, I mean, I feel like we, we got this. Yeah, we got it. So this is, that's the end, man. Uh, they should capitulate any moment. Uh, so we want to take a look at the casualties before they capitulate, see how we did. So we lost 7,000 men, 7.8 thousand men. They lost 187,000. That's not bad for attacking in the mountains, man. Not bad at all. If we lose that guy, though, then that would be a much higher number, but we got it done before he won. Uh, so let's go ahead and annex him. All right, excellent. Uh, so that is, in fact, where we're gonna end the episode, guys. We do have these, these dudes here that are done training. 
Uh, and next episode, we're going to do the war with communist China. And as soon as we get that war done and we get onto the front line with the Soviets, we're just going to declare war with the Soviets, man, before the, the Germans beat them. Uh, because I think uh, that won't take them that long. You can see that they're already pushing forward. Uh, now, given they do have to get kind of far to beat them, so... You know, it, it takes time, of course. I'm not saying it, but I'm just saying that I don't think it's going to be that challenging for them. Uh, so if we take too long, we won't be able to get involved. Uh, so that's going to be the uh, the goal. In Communist China, we get the war goal in March. Uh, so immediately after, we would then go to war with the Soviets. I, th I don't think we can... Hmm... Yeah, because we didn't take advantage of the, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a shame. Uh, because we didn't take advantage of the, the free one, we'll have to do a war goal, but it might be pretty quick. And we do have the, the take claim state, so yeah, it's not going to take very long at all. Find political power for 25 days, guys. That's that's not a big deal at all. So we can take it at the last moment, essentially. Uh, once we defeated Communist China and we're going up onto the borders, we take that uh, decision, and, and hopefully we'll have our all of our stuff ready by then, uh, which I want to get radar or wherever we can, maybe right here, uh, as well as the air bases. We'll also need to build out some more uh, air wings because I think we have the planes in the stockpile, or at least a few of them. Let me just take a look here. Uh, we have enough for, for another air wing uh, fighter and close air support. So yeah, we'll get those guys out there and get them training. Uh, maybe use them against Chom Commun communist China. Communist China. Uh, we'll use them against them. And then, of course, there's the Mongolian front uh, we'll have to deal with. That's another reason to, to wait to, to go to war with the Soviets until the communist China is dealt with. Since we got all these fronts we'll have to deal with. We'll have this one. We have this one, and then we have the Mongolian one. So having our armies freed up, I think, would be useful. Uh, although I guess I guess it doesn't really free them up much because one of them's got to be here. Y'all yeah, know what I'm saying because we did get the Yunnan army, uh, so they can go onto one of these fronts. Uh, and we have these divisions that are done training, so we'll be able to get them fully staffed up to 24 divisions each. Uh, I think one, two. Uh, let me just count these up here. So we have eight nine and we currently need seven so yes we can get three uh, full 24 width divisions for our war against the soviets and they don't have any troops on these borders makes me feel like we should just go to war with them man and not even wait and yeah, mongolia doesn't have any troops either they've already moved all their troops over here and we can get the war goal so quickly that uh there's no reason to wait yeah yeah we'll just um we'll just declare war uh, we'll, we'll get the uh, the war goal, 25 days, and, and we'll declare war. Uh, I don't think 25 days will give them a, enough time uh, to get the divisions back here. Now, we could wait a couple weeks to let those troops get further, because I think they are moving from the east all the way over to the west. And, uh, you know, that takes some time. And if we declare war, then they might come back. So if we let them get further, then it'll take them even longer to get back over here. But they could also just end up bringing the divisions anyway, and then we miss this opportunity. So I think it's just best to just declare war. Yeah, want to clear we're on the Soviets, we'll just fight them both at the same time. That's fine. Uh, so, you know, it's not going to be that bad. So, that will be next episode. I'm excited for it. Excited to uh, get the Soviets knocked out, get the Communist China knocked out. And then from there, uh, we can then start moving into Burma and India. Uh, that'll be the next uh, goal. And uh, once we've taken out all this, we could go into the Middle East if we wanted to. Which would be a good option if we, we did get this territory in the Peace Treaty. If we were able to get some of this from the Soviets, because we conquered it. Uh, then going to the Middle East would be good because you'd have two fronts here to go against them. Uh, you know, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iran and Iraq. Uh, and that's what we did in that little short Japanese series. So that'd be an option. And then after that, it's just the Americans, man. That's it. And, um, you know, we've been building up for them for a while now. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you in the next episode, which will be on Saturday. That's the plan. Uh, should be back on schedule, guys. Uh, so I will see you then, and thanks for watching.